Mr Riyadh's death comes as the coronavirus crisis hits a grim milestone here in the East Midlands. He's one of over a thousand people with the virus who've now died in the region's hospitals. And while most people will recover, those figures don't include other Covid deaths in the community. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Lives lost to a deadly virus in hospitals across the East Midlands Hospital consultants Manjeet Singh Riyat and Amjed El Horani, Maria Lawrence, a charity worker, a priest, Father John Berry, a nurse, Gladys Mujajati, and Andy Howe was a bus driver. Anand Patel died while his son Sanjeev was in hospital with coronavirus too. Another bereaved family suffering an unbearable loss. It was hard. Collected my breath and um, kind of told my mum, look, Dad's in at peace now. We've had a great family life together and this is his time. Let's think of the fun memories. He's not in pain anymore. And I made her a promise there and then I said, I'll be home, you'll see me. Those names, these faces make the pandemic very real, of course. But to understand its impact across the East Midlands, you need to look at the scale. The numbers who've died with COVID-19 in our hospitals every single day. The first death was reported in Leicester on Saturday, March the 14th. Just look at how the numbers started rising. A fortnight later, 44 lives lost. And then you can see a much sharper increase until a peak on April the 9th. That's when 88 COVID deaths were reported in our hospitals on a single day. Now the region's death toll has reached 1,000. But you can see how the daily numbers have started falling. Evidence, perhaps, that staying at home is succeeding in saving lives. That graph represents over a thousand deaths in our hospitals and doesn't include people who lost their lives at home or in residential care. And today we heard how the virus has prompted a sharp rise in the wider death rate. Well over 1,400 deaths were registered in the East Midlands in a single week to April the 10th. That's 69% higher than a year ago. And we know that many of those people had contracted coronavirus. Trust me, you don't want to live through this. You'd forget about the worst case scenario, but the pain of even a moderate COVID infection and then the fear of that spreading to other family members. I wish people would take it seriously. Most of the people who've died from COVID-19 have underlying health conditions, but for their bereaved families and friends, that's little consolation. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today.